In today's video, we are using paper clips to make a variety of paper clip embellishments. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, it's Julie. Welcome to the Messy Desk. Today we are making paper clips. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out a couple of different paper clips. And I don't know <laughs> which ones we'll use for sure, but we've got a variety. You can use any paper clips that you might have in your in your stash to go ahead and finish this. So you get um, to use six paper clips. Then also remember you have the four paper clips from your um, binding kit. So I used those from my binding kit and so let's go ahead and get started. So one of the things that I think is a really easy way, always, <laughs> to um, do a paper clip is to just add some um, trims or fabric. So for this one, I'm going in, you see the two, ed two edges are here. One is here. I'm just going to go ahead and add my piece of lace on this side right here. And I have several other little things hanging out over here that I'm going to probably add as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tie this one on, okay? So sometimes I'll pull it through. The pulling through is actually um, a cool way to make sure that your your ends end out like this. So, so you can either tie it on like I did just right there or I'll just go ahead and do another one you can take your this in this case I'm using lace you can take it and put it through and I you saw I twisted it around and that made it so it was going to be easier hopefully to open up the space here this little hole to be able to put that through Okay, so there you go, and you can see the difference between tying and doing the pull the loop through. Okay, so tying and pull the loop through. So I am going to use this as two of my um, of my little. What are they? They are paper clips. Sorry. Okay, so I need to add a couple more things. So I'm going to grab off two of these little holly berries for this one. And I'm going to go ahead and add Some fabric tack. There we go. Okay, so putting fabric tack on there and adding this right on top of there. Okay, and then I do have, as I'm going to be using lots of the pieces that I have left over hanging around here on the desk. So next I have the bow that I made and I from the baker's twine, so the candy cane baker's twine. And I'm gonna go ahead and add some of my glue right there onto the where the knot is on the bow. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and set it in there. Now, if you have a charm or something that you want to use, you can go ahead and put a charm on here. That would be really cute. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add a little bit more baker's twine. 
Baker's coin. Little film. Oh gosh, you guys. I'm going to go take a nap right after this <laughs> video. Oh boy. I don't know where that went. We'll find it later. There's that one. So, okay, so I'm going to grab a piece of the bling. And so the trims are pieces that are left over from my, after I made the tassel and charms with the 72 inches of fabric and lace and things. Okay, so there I have that pretty little um, paper clip and this will be able to go either this way or this way in my journal. And we have one, two, three pieces added. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, so next let's move on and let's go ahead and take this, um, this little house piece here. And actually, I don't think I'm ready for the house. We're gonna go ahead and take this sticker. Okay, so I have this sticker. This um, is from the sticker sheet that is part of my 15 items. I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to put the long side of the paper clip over the part that has the two from. Okay, so just putting it on there. Then I'm gonna go ahead, add some glue. So I'm gonna add some glue to my paper clip here. Let the big bubble go up. And then I'm gonna add some glue also to the sticker. Even though it's a sticker, I just, I want to make sure that we that it holds so I'm adding some glue to that and we're gonna go ahead and fold this over so this is using a gift tag from a gift tag sticker sheet with this beautiful cardinal okay so there we have that there and then we can come in and we can add, because this beautiful red, let's go ahead and we're just going to go ahead and add the piece of red here. Um, and since I didn't, um, I don't want to tie it because that's going to make it funny. I'm going to go ahead and add some glue right here to the top on my ribbon. Okay, so we'll add some glue to the top and like this and like this. There we go. And we've got that beautiful red going on up there and so let's see I think if we cut just a little piece of the lace we can have a piece of the lace down here because remember we've got to add our three items I'm going to use the fabric tack since we have um, since it's lace, it's fabric. Okay, I'm gonna use that to, and then we'll just put that across there. And then I think we'll grab the little poinsettia punch that I've been using. And we'll punch out a gold poinsettia. Okay, so. Open this up so that I can get it in there to punch it. And now I'm just using the fabric tech because that's the glue that's out. Okay, we'll put that on there and make it so that it's touching, so it's touching the branch that the cardinal's sitting on, 
and then see if we can find our little bling. It's it's gone. <laughs> There's the one from before though. Okay. And we'll add that right there in the center. And we have embellished paper clip number two using a gift tag. Okay, so the gift tag was from my my items. So next I'm gonna use a regular paper clip and I am going to use, now a lot of times I'll use book page for this part, but we're gonna do something a little different, okay? So I am going to take this paper clip and I am, you know what, let's go ahead and take a, oh, we can take a strip of the, the fabric, okay, thin, thinner piece of fabric, okay. okay, so you can take your fabric, and we're going to put it on here, and we're going to add some glue right here on this edge and bring it around okay and we'll bring it around a second time okay so we'll put a pile, put a puddle of glue there and then cut it off Okay, so I know several of you were looking for ways to attach things. So this is a way that you can attach something. Okay, you can turn this basically into your bulb pin. You can already put it in where you want it to hang from, or you can tie it in. Okay, so, um, so there's that. And then we can go ahead and add... A charm down here at the bottom so I'm just remember I'm trying these are not necessarily normally probably wouldn't take the time to make all of these things but I want to give you some other ideas and um, you know I even for a challenge I would probably go with the the easier things but if I don't have things that are certain things available then I want to make sure that you have other options. So if you didn't put um, bulb pins as one of your 15 items, and I know several of you did, but if you didn't, then you can make them using this, the paper clip. And remember, you have your extra four from your from your binding kit, your extra four paper clips as well, okay? So, so we're just to make an embellishment using paper clips. So does that mean it has to be an actual paper clip that you're putting on your, um, okay, let's clean this off. Sorry about that. And I have to tell you, I would have made something out of that glob <laughs> if I was not video. I don't like to waste anything. Uh, okay, so I put a little daub of glue there to help hopefully hold that together. And I have made this little guy out of a paper clip. So I need to add a little bit more to this. This, yes, your charm that you made can count as one. Okay, so there's one. We added a tie, that's two, and we added this, that's actually three. But let's go ahead and um, I'll decorate this just a little bit more. Let's go ahead and add another one of our little um, poinsettias. Okay, so I, what I do with these punches is I turn them over so that I can see where I'm going. 
on them. Okay, so where, make sure that I'm in all the gold, okay? And then I can just punch it. We'll just go ahead and put our little gold poinsettia on here. And we had our other bling right here. And that is our third one. And I'll be able to take this and tie this in to something um, or attach it to one of those bulb pins that I did put in my journal during the um, mini challenge in the challenge. Okay, so next I have the butterfly clasp. And I like to use this for something larger. Okay, and so I have the square with the house, and I'm going to need something for the back of this. And I have down here, this is one of those book pages from the book that I, the Mountain Can Wait book that I had. And so I can go ahead and cut my back piece from this. Okay, if you remember one of the first times that I did the butterfly clasp if for a video, it was the mason jar with the flowers in it, and I used this large paper, this butterfly clasp, and it turned out amazing. So that was part of the Spring Blossom series. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put this down, and I need, oh, there, duh, like it went anywhere, right? <laughs> okay, so again, we want to stabilize the, oh, I want that to be the back piece. This is going to be the inside piece, and I'm just going to stabilize the the paper clip by gluing it down. Then I'm going to glue around the outside edge and up inside and the outside edge over here. And I'm going to come and glue around the outside edge here and other places just to help it attach. Okay, so then we'll go up and just like a sandwich. We're going to put it together. Now remember your paper clip is a little thick, so you got to come over and help it to stay closed on the one side. And there we go. Okay. So, closing all of that. Okay, so this is going to give us this pa uh, paper clip base. And you can see I'm a little off down here. That's, we lose a little bit because of the, the paper clip. And I don't know usually whether it's going to come, whether the the space that's going to get taken away is going to come from the top or from the bottom. So I usually do have to um, re reconfigure that. So, okay. So um, next we're going to want, okay, so I have this piece of the packaging left over that says holiday style. I think that that's kind of fun. I can add to this paper clip and of course you know we've got some of this gold hanging out over here kind of going along with the way that we did the other envelope okay so we'll go ahead and put this down we'll use some doily at some point, this will come out. OK, 
Okay, so you have to make six paper clips or six items using paper clips. And so, and then they do have to have the three items embellishing them. Okay, so you make your paper clip base and then add the three items to embellish it. I like the little house down there. Okay, we do have, we have a tree hanging out here that we cut out from the cover. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that right here in front. It'll be in front of the little house and so it'll connect the house and the holiday style. Okay, and then just to help this tree stand out so you know that it's a tree, because I used the, the little gold tree already, because that, that would have been great to put that on there. I'm just going to go ahead and for another embellishment, we'll go ahead and add our fingernail polish. Make sure you're in a well-ventilated area. Okay, so we'll add our fingernail polish there and we can also since this one's going to go on the top somewhere we can go ahead and add the fabric the cool thing about making these bases is you can add your fabric after okay so we can just go ahead and um, sometimes I will staple this I'm going to go ahead and glue this again like we did last time right up there at the top kind of hold it together and up off the top okay so that gives me that and that is number four if you're here for the premiere I'm waving hi and say hello to Lucy hi Lucy Can you say hi I'm so glad you joined us today. If this is your first premiere, make sure you hit that live chat button right there. Um, we do this every day at 1030 Pacific Standard Time, and we have a live chat. So while we are all watching this video for the first time during the premiere, we get to have this chat, and we get to keep in touch, also ask questions, and I'm usually there to be able to answer questions and it's just a really great way to be able to keep in touch and get to know each other better we also have our scrap all about it with dear julie julie facebook group as well as our dear julie julie etsy and patreon we do have a sale going on in our etsy shop this weekend and that is for my birthday celebration you get 20 percent off all journals and all junk journal kits okay so all journals and junk journal kits and also um, because of the debut of the blue winter digital kit we have several digitals on sale for 50 percent off including the brand new blue winter and last year's pink christmas the paris Jolie and paris Jolie pages and ephemera kits as well as the purple flowers, the Halloween backgrounds and envelopes, the pink background kits are, and the antique fishing kit are all on sale and for 50% off. So do check those out. Again, the Etsy shop is Dear Julie Julie. So let's get back to our program. Okay. Um, let's see. For number five, we're going to do washi tape on one of these these paper clips that I get from from Staples okay so these are an interesting paper clip this is what goes over your your um, paper and so we're gonna take this washi tape and it's really fun if you have 
a washi tape that says something or it's like Santa's legs and you can go ahead and put your washi tapes together okay and then give them a snake tongue or a dovetail remember I was I was taught snake tongue in my campfire girls that's what my my leader called it was a snake tongue <laughs> and so there's that and now this part is the part that's either gonna hang so this this is gonna hang down okay so when it's on a paper this is gonna hang down you can also put something so that it's up here okay and go ahead and add some of the red ribbon okay okay don't like that oh, we have some just plain white fabric from the um, branding strip Okay, so and we can go ahead and just like we did the others we can go up and glue this one <clears throat> okay. I do want it to be up the top Just gonna cut the okay okay so now we can go ahead and decorate on our little piece of washi here and we actually have these little tiny images and I think we'll go with this mr. Santa and mrs. Claus from the middle this is from the Santa and Mrs. Claus digital kit from Dear Julie Julie. And um, Santa and Mrs. Claus are one of my favorite things. I like them so much. I have over 500 sets of Santa. Well, and I got one for my birthday from my husband. So, 501. <laughs> so, we can go ahead and put that right there on the washi tape now I'm not sure that I can get this to stick yeah I don't think that that's gonna stick so let's go ahead we're gonna get some double-sided tape and we'll try that and I'll check this and make sure that it's working Okay, so I'm just going to cut off a little piece of my double-sided tape. That's my go-to for shiny paper, double-sided tape, because tape will usually stick to, to shiny paper like magazine paper, um, the covers of a paper pad. So there, we'll put them right on there. Okay. I like that then we're gonna add our fingernail polish we'll add that last um, I think I want to add like a bow up there so we'll go ahead and use our Baker's twine and um, I'm gonna go ahead and tie my bow on here instead of just gluing it on but that'll help this. This will kind of make it match the tabs that I made. Now I didn't add any of the um, Rapunzel hair, which I could do that. You know what? Let's do that. Let's add a little Rapunzel hair right here. We happen to have a piece of double-sided tape already ready. <laughs> we can use that up. 
Okay, so we're going to go around four fingers, around three fingers, around four fingers, there, and there we go. Well, I had, it was on the, t there it is, it's like, it was on the scissors. Okay, so we'll go ahead and use the double-sided tape. If you've been watching these videos, you've seen this because I've been using the, the Rapunzel hair or metallic thread. And remember, I got mine on clearance at like Hobby Lobby or somewhere, but they do have, in the sewing section, they have metallic thread. And um, also, I will be sprinkling, sprinkling some metallic thread uh, when I'm feeling a little better. So hopefully, I was planning to do a big to-do on my birthday of the sprinkling. And you guys, I did not feel good. Like, at all. So, um, yeah. So hopefully, hopefully feeling better. I mean, when you feel so bad that you don't even like, you don't even want to do the things you like to do, that's, that's the kind of, <laughs> yeah, and it's, I just don't feel good, I don't know what, there we go. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and tie this in a bow. Tie it in a knot. We can tie it in a bow. Okay, so there's a whole lot going on here. Um, but I really like it, actually. Okay, so let's see how it's going to look on a page. So when we put it on a page, that's what we're going to have. Okay. Okay, so that was number five, right? Are we five or are we four? Five. Okay, so number six, we're going to do something similar to what we did um, with the paper clip making the extension. So remember, again, you can go ahead and put this onto something that's already in your book. So if you have, like I have dangling down on the edge in my journal, I have a couple of these bulb pins. So I can go ahead, hang this on the bulb pin that is already in my journal and, um, and make this, okay? It's probably take the bulb pin off of where it's at. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and, oh, and then let's go ahead and we will add the lollipop that we made. Okay. And we'll just add it onto there when we're done. That'll be easier. Okay. Okay, so... Taking some of, this is the branding strip from the fabric. And I've put a little glue on there and I've stuck those two pieces together. Okay. And then I'm going to put a little glue up here. Just a little. Doesn't need to be. And then over here I need enough that it's going to hold down the whole the whole piece. Okay, so then I'm going to go around and so it went around there and we'll come around here. Okay, and then we're going to cut that off. Okay. So remember this is going to be like like this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put a bead of our glue across here. A nice little puddle. 
and then I'm going to work kind of fast. Okay, so I'm going to start at one end or the other, and I use the fabric, so it's okay if the fabric shows, and I'm just going to go ahead and wrap my baker's twine around. Okay. Now you're going, well, you would have, so again, the bulb pin came from a mini challenge in the challenge where you could use five, any five items that you wanted to use. I had so many people that were bummed because they didn't have any metal pieces in their journal without counting them towards their 15. So I was like, well, you can make five things <laughs> using five things. There we go. Okay, so there we have that little um, extension. Okay, so that counts as one because our base was the fabric. And then, um, okay, so let's, oh, my back. I'm falling apart today. <laughs> okay, so um, maybe wanting another charm. You know, we've got these two little kids pieces, and we can just fold those over. Okay, just like that, fold them over. And then to make this charm, it needs to be a part of the paper clip, right? So we can go ahead, go through, have this ready, okay? Make sure they're upright. And go ahead and <laughs> add your glue. We've got lots of air in this. Okay. Okay, so then we're gonna come over here and put these pieces down inside and they will hold our charm. Okay, and now just to make sure that we've got glue in here that will stick. I think I need smaller bottles even. I don't know. I buy the big bottle and put it in the small bottle. Okay, and then I've got this little charm, okay, and it's two-sided. So we've got our little kids on there and we can add our, um, our fingernail polish will be another one of our things. So that actually could be our three things just like that. And then I am going to add the um, lollipop up here also. Actually, the lollipop might be cute on, on a different one because we've got this right here. I don't think we need the lollipop right next to it. Um, we do have this. And I think I'm going to go ahead and add that up here at the top. Because if I put it down at the bottom, it'll cover up the words. Now, I can't read those words, but somebody can. My grandkids probably could. Right? Somebody can. Okay, so putting this on across. holding it down so that it sticks. Okay. 
So you need to make six and So we'll let that dry and then we'll put um, fingernail polish on the other side as well. Okay, so that is my six. But I'm going to go ahead and make one other just because you. Um, I want to remind you that you can make your, your usual. I'm going to take the branding strip here. And here. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and fold this one over. And we need to match that up. Use the fingernail and fold that over as well. We'll cut those. Okay, um, we're going to go ahead and I want the large side on the outside. I'm going to put it down this one. I'm going to grab this one. Okay, so that gives me that. Before I close this, I'm going to want to add, I'm going to, you know what, let's add the the lollipop here okay so we'll go ahead and add our little lollipop just string it on through okay so that'll add our lollipop okay so we're making kind of the charm holder thing again using the branding strips from our paper which is basically junk correct okay so we need to make sure that our our um, paper clip is gonna hold so there we go there we go and put those together. Okay, so we have those together. We have our lollipop. We probably should go ahead and, and lollipop the other side, right? Um, we'll do that here in a second. And then we can add our Santa and Mrs. Claus. I was going to add the tree. Could do both. Not now, but I could have done both. Okay. There we go. Santa and Mrs. Claus just hanging out there. Just like that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add this red piece of ribbon because you guys, I don't know if you realize, but this is the end of, this is the last um, element I have to make, I believe. I mean, like, I totally am pretty darn sure this is the last thing I have to make. So I'm using up the scraps that I have down here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of the doily. To the edge here so remember you have to have at least three items embellishing your paper clip item your paper clip item can be like a paper clip to hold something or it can be an extension like I showed you um, that will help to hold a charm oh we forgot to put the glue the ay 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 Okay. 
go. And I'm going to just trim that little piece of the ribbon off if I can. There's that. And I'm going to put on a dot, dot, dot from the bling as the grand finale of this paper clip. And then, like I said, I'll need to come back in and finish off the other side of this lollipop. <clears throat> but there you have a paper clip. Now, the lollipop is going to actually end up on the other side of your paper. Okay, so that's kind of cool to have a decoration that shows up on the other side of your paper. Okay, so that's going to be like that. That's going to show up on that side. And I think that's really, really fun. Okay, so do we have any other... Okay, we don't. So we're going to go ahead... Oh, here, we have this. I'm like, do we have any... And we have some red. Okay. We're going to go ahead and pull these up. Because remember, you can add your, your fluff to the top after that one, our lollipop. There we go. Okay. There we go. And we'll have fluff up there. I think we'll go ahead and glue this up just because we've been doing that and it seems to really help. So we made, um, we glued our tassel this time. We're gluing our, our fluffs. So for those of you that don't have the awesome tools, you know, you can still see that you can, you can do this. I am going to cut these down. Okay. So that is another paper clip. And so let's see what we've got here. Um, just remember that I have several items um, on sale in my Etsy shop for my birthday celebration. Remember that if you are a Patreon with your coupon code, either 10 or 20, um, make sure that you use those. But remember that they, Etsy doesn't let you have that coupon when you use PayPal. Um, and don't forget, we do have the Patreon. I know that they are excited because on the 27th, I do a reveal with some hints about next month's um, challenge. So to, to get in on that, you have to be in the tier or above that gives the challenge hint. Okay, so November 27th, I know many of you are really excited to find out what we'll be doing in December. Um, I can tell you it's a no buy, so <laughs> if you're going to buy by now, um, it is again a no buy and a stash buster type um, challenge, but it's it's going to be a little different. And also, don't forget, we have already given the hint that January will again with the return of the Just Junk Journal Challenge. Okay? Um, it will be Just Junk Journal Challenge with a twist, so it's going to be different. But that's just so that you know that you can start collecting your junk. <laughs> cool stuff. Cool packaging. Cool stuff that other people would throw away so that you can make a beautiful journal in January. Um, okay. okay, so which one's your favorite? I, lo I love the way that one turned out. 
I love these extenders. I think those are really fun and something different to do with your um, paper clip. And then using the gift tags and just folding them over. I think that that was really a lot of fun. So, oh, we've got one more. We have our first one that we made. Okay. So that gives us seven. And you need to make six. So I can't, can't wait to see what you do. And remember that if you're using your charms from the, so this is one of the charms, this is one of the charms. They count as one embellishment. So I cannot wait to see what you make. Make sure that you're posting them in the element posts so that we can see what you're making. And if you are going, what is she talking about? <laughs> uh, we do a challenge here each month. So this is our November My Favorite Things Junk Journal Challenge. The details video for that challenge is in the description box down below. We still have nine days, so you could make and finish a journal if you wanted to, uh, to be a part of this challenge. And uh, just so you know, that Blue Winter Kit, that's what the people that finished their October um, journal, that's what they got just for finishing and posting correctly. So here we go. Find something to celebrate every day. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.